economic hardship, Nigeria, see, don't talk. Hmm. Tinubu address to Nigerian youth backfires. What is going on now? We shock you. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. President Bola Metinubu inspirational message on Monday to the Nigerian youth. Did not sit well with them, given the growing economic hardship in the country. In his message to Nigerian youth on social media, Tinubu wrote, Dear Nigerian youth, do not relent in your pursuit. You too can be our heroes of tomorrow, he said. To our cherished Nigerian youth showcasing their talent in communities across the country, playing football on their local ground, you too can be our heroes tomorrow. Don't relent in your pursuit. My administration is committed to making dreams come true, he added. Chronic NG report on how Nigerian youth reacted to Tinubu's inspirational message. Jude Onwigwe wrote, Dear City Boy, we do not want motivational speeches. We are tired of ways. The people are suffering. A bag of rice is now 80,000 naira. Fuel is over 700, and naira is almost 1,005 per dollar. You spend all your money on Favorite things, the National Assembly take home salary is over 30 million naira, uh, 30 million dollars monthly. We can't keep living on motivation. Our people need actual economic prosperity. Get use for sir. May good, may God not go punish you. Hadulayi said, call on the president to do something about the hike in food. Prices, it is very important that you look for a short term solution to it. Uzom, Paul Uzoma said the president should try facing this first. Everything that has been added has an extra zero. So he should fix this first. Tinubu, who was elected president in February 2023, has failed to set Nigeria on the right trajectory with inflation rising to 28.2% in November. <laughs> An end will soon come to this oligarchy government. It is close. The day of poor masses, the day the poor masses will decide to take their destinies in their hands, this nonsense will end. Nobody should disturb God. He has given us the power of raising whatever you, you tolerate has the tendency to remain. Say no to corrupt politicians. Revolution, revolution, revolution is the answer. Where are our activists? Nigerians youth are now calling for revolution. Tunable thinks we are all very senseless in this country. You they play. The poor that love themselves, not with divided and greedy masses like this. Crooked leadership. Someone who lied that he attended government college, Lagos, only in 19, uh, 19, uh, 1970. But the government college, Lagos, only started in 1974. Or with the drug trafficking, uh, drug, well, whatever, bad man history. Tinubu and cross incompetently. Uh, Hinderous like the other Nigerian politicians, beyond shame, beyond embarrassment, and beyond redemption. Completely, they are all in politics for money, material gains, and self uh, grand agreeing. Okay, I don't know what he's saying here. Only and always, but he won't be easy for this clan. Someone can say, I beg, stop lamenting. Now, so, so much Yoruba people get and they can fear. All what Igbo know is to insult another tribe and his useless tribe will not caution him. A military should take over our government. We don't have military. They have been politicized. 
We don't need them. Their own is even worse. Then politicians remember the female officer that confessed as senior officers have done to her in Lagos. We don't hear anything from the cakes again. Okay, your 10th generation will, will surely experience great calamity. You will cause hardship, hunger, and sorrows to Nigeria. It shall never be well with you and your 10th generation. These are Nigerians, so they don't they lay cause on President Bola Maitinebo. Anyway, this is not a time for that. 10th generation, when one comes, stay there far. Now, we are talking about the situation on ground right now. You are telling us Nigerians are, tal are talented and this. How are you helping them? How is the government helping uh, uh, talented Nigerians? Can we now say Nigerians are asking too much? Because they said we need food. Give us food. Not that they are giving them food for free. Make the economy favorable for everyone. So that we will not die of hunger. We will be able to strive in our businesses. Please secure our life from these bandits and Boko Haram and unknown gunmen. Give us job. Can we not say Nigerians are asking too much? Why is politicians like this? You want Nigerian poor masses to make sacrifice. What sacrifice are you making as a person? Well, Nigerians, I beg, or as a government, I mean to say, kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.